Crawling is acceptable. Falling is acceptable. Puking is acceptable. Crying is acceptable. Blood, pain is acceptable. Quitting is not. This is my road back to the stage. This is my road to redemption. What's up, Jason? Thank you so much for the update. Great job this week. All your training sessions you're in. Yeah, love that. Um, that was the goal. This is this shows that the accountability is working and you're putting in the effort. I love that. It's it's a two-way street. So uh this is great. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hunger is low, sleep is decent, recovery is great, energy is good, digestion is great, stress is low. Um, you were able to get in the gym because all your session scale was consistent, even down. You know, we took a big chunk off um, from last week to this week and even saw new lows at 224. So very happy to see that kind of stuff. And we're not even, you know, I know we're trying to like tighten things up, but making these small changes, um, even with, you know, you weren't able to meal prep as much this past week, um, you were still able to stick to everything because otherwise, you know, the scale would have gone up or remained the same. So I'm proud of you for whatever choices you did make and however you navigated that kind of a week that showed that you're in this and not letting things like, you know, family obligations and things like that derail your progress. It may have done that for like a meal or two, but it wasn't like a fuck it week. So very proud of you for that kind of stuff. In the past, that may have happened. Um, want to prep this week so you have nutrition on point. You want to start tracking meals. Fantastic. Love that. So Easiest way to do this, download the app. Um, if you don't already have my fitness pal, I think you mentioned that you do have my fitness pal. Um, I would go ahead and start just your normal, whatever you prep, just weigh it on the scale. Normal portions. Don't try to, you know, eat more, or eat less than you normally would. Just take your scoop of be it like rice or potatoes, and then just weigh it before you put in your meal prep container. Don't change your habits. That's the biggest thing I can tell people when they're starting to track food because all of a sudden when people start tracking and realizing shit, they're like, oh, I want to be good. And I'm just like, no, the point of tracking is to see where you actually are from a reality standpoint. As far as like, where's your calories? Where, where, where are we maintaining? It's not, it's not the same every single day either. Um, and so weighing out your foods, weigh all of your meats. I like weighing mine cooked. Yes, it does lose weight when it's cooked, and you can definitely do a formula to figure out cooked weight versus uncooked weight, but I would just track it as cooked. You can search cooked meat in my fitness pal, like cooked chicken, cooked this. It will make the adjustment for you. Just use the same entry um, as far as like if you use ground beef, ground turkey, or like steak or whatever like that. You know, just use a cooked variety of that and weigh it in ounces or grams, whatever you want to weigh it in. Um, and that way it's just easier to, to, you know, I don't like putting uncooked meat on my food, on my plate on my food scale. It doesn't look nice, <laughs> personal preference um and then start logging everything else like things like loose items um like popcorn and potatoes and rice and fruit and things like that weigh it in grams even things like a banana take it out of the peel and weigh it in grams you get more banana that way um and then um, strawberries same thing i cut the top off my strawberries and weigh them and so that's how and for those entries is you're not gonna i mean they may have chiquita bananas in there but if bananas like fifteen thousand different things i would search usda united states dietary association usda strawberries or usda banana that's going to be the entry that you want that is the most consistent throughout because people can put their own foods in there um and i also like that you know they do the verified check mark next to verified things which is actually very helpful um but compare it you know sometimes they may if if companies update the label i know they did this for i think lenny and larry's cookies did this when they got in trouble they had to update their label and update their calories as far as what actually was in there but of course they probably still have both entries in my, my fitness pal and so make sure when you do something like a processed food that has a nutrition label on it like a canned soup of some kind um i'm just thinking like winter foods um that what is in my fitness pal or your tracker lines up with what is on the label because and check it don't just be like oh it's 120 calories check Click it, make sure the actual macros are in there because sometimes people will add a food and then they'll add the calories, but they'll put zeros for the macros of protein, fats, and carbs. Make sure you check it and eat how you normally eat. I'd love to see um, either like you put in here, like your macro totals for each day, protein, fats, and carbs, total in grams, not percentages. Percentages do nothing for you. Um, yes, it's a good guideline, but it doesn't tell us how many calories you're actually eating. And so for next week, if you want to put in the days that you track, like, you know, 
Thursday, uh, 2,150 calories and my protein was at 162 and then fats were at like 70 or one or something like that as well. Whatever those totals are, you can find those in my fitness pal. If you scroll down to the bottom, hit the nutrition tab and then hit nutrients. And that's going to tell you, 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 your protein, fats, carbs. I also like fiber is in there too. It's kind of cool to see to make sure we're getting enough fiber, but your digestion is fine. So if it was off, then I'd say, let's look at fiber too, but eat how you normally eat track it. I'd love a weekend in there too, because sometimes people eat a little bit differently on the weekends because yay, social time. You can loosely track meals out. There are restaurants in there that are similar to restaurants you may be going to local in your area. Things like Chick-fil-A and Panera are in there. Subway is in there. Um, but even things like Olive Garden I use for like Italian food, um, Taco Mac for any sort of American like wings, burgers, things like that. Um, there, there's definitely comparable restaurants. Bahama Breeze um, is in there. I use Longhorn if I'm going to go out to a steak dinner. Um, the filet is a filet, most places. You know, yes, there may be variances about how much butters they put on there. I always track, speaking of that, I always track one serving of olive oil, no matter what, when I go out to dinner because or anything, because you have no clue what they're doing in the back. It may, it may be like, oh, my roasted Brussels sprouts. Yeah, roasted Brussels sprouts. Do you know what, how much oil and butter they use on those things? Things like that, because they're sneaky calories when we got to dinner. And that's okay. That's why I say loosely tracking. It's not going to be exact, but figure it out. Get used to it. It takes some time. It's going to be very tedious at first, especially when we're tracking meals out and things like that as well. But getting good at this is going to be a great skill for you to have over time. But um, let's see how you do. And again, your calories are going to be all over the place. Put everything in alcohol, um, as well as things like cookies, brownies, cake, Halloween candy, whatever you may be having over the next week or so. Put it in there. I make no judgments about where your calories are because obviously we're losing weight. So you're doing something right. Um, <laughs> But it's a great learning experience. And also by weighing out our foods over time, we learn to eyeball portion sizes when we go out or we learn to eyeball portion sizes so we don't have to track for the rest of our lives. Um, we can eyeball, okay, it's about four ounces of a meat. That's a great serving of protein for me in this meal. Albeit, you know, that's only a couple ounces. Maybe I need to order a double at when I go out to dinner, a double shrimp or something like that. So I'm mean, going to have any questions or anything else, but best of luck over the next week. And don't worry if you're not exact. Don't worry if you miss something. It's going to take some time and you're going to do great at it. Thanks. All right. What's up, everybody? It's me. Your boy, Jay Dizzle for Shizzle. Back in the hizzle. Hope you guys are doing well. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. All right, guys. So out here on the bike trail, getting this cardio in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just did uh, 45 minutes. Uh, that's the goal for the week. You can see, man, leaves are starting to change out here. And uh, I love getting out here, man. Uh, it's about 63 degrees right now. Uh, morning, it's about, uh, it's going on 10 o'clock. Just got off of work, but feeling really, really good. Um, you just saw the check-in from the coach, man. And uh, she's loving the progress right now. I'm loving the progress. And guys, this, I'm trying to tell you, that's what I needed was to, uh, was to get the coach because now I'm being more consistent. <clears throat> You know, now that I have somebody to check in with, because before it was just if, if I didn't feel like going, I would just not go, you know, and get it done. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, I am start, still getting over a little Cody cold, but um, but yeah, so feeling really good, man. So uh, my uh, my plans for the week are just to uh, get more. Um, be more consistent with the training be more consistent with the meal prep uh be more consistent with the water intake um i'm feeling really good right now though man I started the prep at 231.8 pounds down to 22 or 224.8 so about seven pounds over the last six weeks um and i messed up because when i took my progress photos um i put week four on my on my on my sheet that i hang on the wall that you guys see in the background <clears throat> i don't know why i did that i was on week five actually so now so now i'm in week six um week six of my prep man feeling really good uh as you can see you know i'll put the progress pictures right here on top is week one and bottom is current you know so as you can see man just that little seven pound difference um you know I still got the gut and everything, but I don't have that overhang. You know, I don't have that that Dunlap. <laughs> you know, I'm not Dunlapping anymore. Uh, so that feels really good. 
Uh, but you know, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling good because you know checking in with Sarah has been uh, has been tremendous, man, for my uh, um, just my mental state, man. Because I know I have to check in with somebody and everything. So, man, so guys, if you're on the fence about getting the coach, man, just you know see if you can you know see if you can talk to somebody, you know, and uh, you know work out some sort of payment arrangement or something like that, man. Because I'm trying to tell you, man, that that makes all the difference man when you're when you're on these you know these, these transformation challenges and these weight loss journeys and things like that or if you're prepping for a show even the pros have have coaches man so feeling really really good so i'll do another video and show you exactly what my uh what my goals are for the week uh and so um so that i'm staying consistent um i just started i just started my uh eight week program we are 30 weeks out guys from the ocb buckeye natural down in columbus and so <clears throat> and so so i started my program uh and so i write i write it all down in my log and everything like that that's how i know i'm progressing as well and i can see what i did last time see where you know i can improve or you know hey i, I was feeling terrible this day um, being more, I, I need, uh, I'm going to be more consistent with, uh, tracking my meals and stuff as well. Um, but I'm going to get, I'm going to do another video and just lay, lay out the entire plan guys for you. And, uh, so that's all I really got for you, man. I don't want to make it too long, but feeling good. Thank you, uh, coach for, uh, the amazing check-in and, uh, the feedback and everything like that, man. So I will see you guys on the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about that, baby. Your boy, Jay Dizzle. I'm out. Peace.